All right, what's up, y'all? Got another video out for today. This one's going to be a little bit different. We did do some fishing in this one, of course, um, but then also I'm doing a review on a really, really good swim bait that has come out in the past year from Z-Man. You know I'm a huge fan of Z-Man. That's pretty much the only plastics that I use for the most part, um, but we're going to be reviewing the Z-Man Hercules today. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it, show you guys some action as far as catching fish on it, and then we'll meet back up and I'll go ahead and tell you guys more about this bait. If he didn't catch him, I was going right back in there. One of us is going to catch him. You see that video, Robert? Oh, oh there comes. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you come out when you caught that, um... Do some fish there. Yeah, probably. Smack the piss out of it. He wanted that Hercules, did he? Yep. Nice. Thanks, sir. Good deal. I had to send it. <laughs> Perfect. That's a good start. Oh, yeah. Cool. Good deal. Nice little fish, guys. Good way to start the day. Probably a good little, maybe about 24, 25. Not bad. He's gonna be ready to get one. All right, I see. Hang on, man. All right, get going now. Come on. Here he goes. All right, good deal. That's another one. You got a cute one, dude? No, he's, the thing is better than yours. Yeah, he's better than yours. Not much better, but he's better. He's a little bit bigger. Yes, sir. He was right off that grass point. Right where he should be, huh? Yep. All right. A nice little fish, a little bit better than the first one. All right, you guys, so this is a Z-Man Hercules swim bait. Um, this is the four inch size in the opening night color. I also do have, they do make a five inch. Um, this is a Houdini color. I have not used this one as much as of yet. In this video, in this fishing trip, I was only using this color here, this opening night color. Water was a little clear, um, sunny too, sunny outside. So I figured a natural color like this would be really, really solid and the snook were all over. But I do go ahead and tie on a loop knot on these for sure. I pretty much do that on all my swim baits and most of my lures. Um, the only exception being spoons and voodoo shrimps, really. But other than that, I pretty much always use a loop knot on these. Just to give it a little bit more action. It helps it wobble through the water a little bit while you're cranking it through there. Um, but overall, really solid bait. I love the look of it. Love the presentation. This tail has a lot, a lot of action to it. Um, and it is, of course, a Z-Man plastic, so it is very stretchy and lasts a very long time. Um, and you guys can kind of see here, you can see the scaly pattern. I'll be able to see it better on this bait here, but you can see it has that scaly pattern to it. So it really looks really, really realistic. Um, really solid bait. This hook is pretty dang sturdy. It, this is a 4-aught hook um, on the 4-inch one, and then this one has a 5-aught hook 
on the five inch hook or five inch bait. So this bait is a little bit heavier than the usual, you know, jig head and paddle tail type pattern that I usually use. So I do like working this in deeper areas off of like deep oyster bar drop offs or points um, or maybe even in the rivers you could use it. A lot of the fish that I caught today came off of deeper drop offs off of oyster bars and points. Um, so I really like using this bait for that deeper stuff. You really can't use it any shallower than I would say probably a foot and a half. It gets caught up really easy because it is a heavier bait. I think this one is three eighths of an ounce. Um, and I believe it. this one is an ounce. Um, so I would definitely stick to the deeper stuff with this, to be honest with you guys. Um, I would use your normal jig head and paddle tail or keel weighted hook and paddle tail for the shallower water that you're gonna be fishing. Now there aren't really many cons that I have for this, but to be honest with you guys, the only real problem that I do have with it is the fact that it does get hung up in grass quite a bit. Um, like I said, it does get hung up on the oyster bars and everything quite a lot because it is a heavier bait. The only thing that maybe they could add to it to help it out a little bit is maybe a weed guard to go from this um, this eye here to the, the hook, just to kind of help out with you know hooking some grass and everything. But other than that, I mean, as long as you keep it off the bottom, you're not really going to have a problem. So that's the, really the only problem that I have with it. But like I said, I mean, overall, it's a really, really solid bait and catches a lot of fish. So let's go ahead and get back into some more action and hope you guys enjoy it. Here's another big one. Another little snook. Oh, hey now. Jumped in my arms. I'll catch it, buddy. That one got hooked at the bottom lip. That's the smallest one of the day so far, but it's another fish. We'll take that. I'll let you go. Alright. And I put her face right up next to mine. And I'm like, dude, I'm like, dude, give me a second. I'm the only woman in your life. Smoked it. These snook have absolutely smoked this Hercules today. Oh, okay. All been about the same size. No I'll be crushing it. Got him in a ton. It's so beefy too, it looks juicy. Alright, Paul, can I get a picture real quick? Alright, another nice little snook. It's been a snook kind of day. That's for show. Go and let them grow. There he goes. Jeez. My freaking title is going to be caught every single fish on this one bait. They were all snook. But I'm not surprised the snook like it though. It's a perfect bait for him. I hope you guys liked the video. Um, if you could go ahead and leave me a comment, a like, subscribe down at the bottom. Let me know what you guys thought of this kind of video. I plan on doing more of these reviews um, and even some maybe some how-tos on knots and stuff like that in the future. So let me know if you guys do want to see that. Um, but I will say this Z-Man Hercules is a really, really solid bait. If you guys are looking for an alternative to a jig head paddle tail style bait, like but you still want a swim bait, I would highly recommend this, especially if you're going to be fishing in some deeper areas. This bait works really, really well. Like I said, they have it in the four inch, they have the five inch, and now they make a six inch in the size or in this bait.
So I appreciate you guys watching it and see you next time.